This car has proven to be pretty popular. This is my daughter's 69 Cutlass S convertible that we have aptly named Mary, as in Hail Mary. This car really shouldn't have been saved, and I know it looks ratty, and I gotta tell you, this is a very popular look. My daughter loves it, and many people say, when are you gonna paint it? I don't think it's happening. I think she digs it, and uh, parked next to my car at car shows and cruises. Nobody gives my car a second look, man. They go after this car. So this car was saved. This was a this was basically a three-year project. Uh, and I'll go through all kinds of stuff here that we've done on this car in some more detail. I found this car about 15 minutes from here years ago. And I knew about it. And I was he hesitant to pursue it. It looked really, really rough. It was really rough. But my daughter and I decided that we were going to do a project. And obviously I know 69 Cutlasses pretty well. So we went after it. And this is some of the things we had to do. The real issue was that this car was hit really, really hard in a previous life in the right rear. And this quarter, this quarter panel skin is a reproduction. It's for a coupe. They do not make them for convertibles. So I had to tack it on there and scribe it and cut it to make it fit. A good friend of mine went out to Pennsylvania to pick this up for me. And that kind of starts, you know, the, the friend support that we've gotten with this car. Uh, quarter panel scan, outer wheelhouse, trunk drop down, patch the inner wheelhouse. Not from rot, from a collision. And it was hit hard and actually kind of moved things over to this side, driver's side a little bit. And... It was bondoed pretty heavily. And I'll, I'll, I'll show some pictures of that, that big slab of bondo. They said it couldn't be done two, three inches thick. Well, I got proof. <laughs> you can do it. So we took that off and put this quarter skin on. This car needed floors, but not because the floors were completely rotted. They were just pinholed because the convertible top had gone bad glare is probably not so great here this is not a full restoration this is a borderline ratty kind of build and it's a cutlass s so it had the chrome trim down the side and my daughter preferred to not have it so we eliminated that welded all the holes closed cut the studs off the off the door did not possess we did not have this trim for this quarter panel so that was a good thing because uh, they're expensive i have the driver's side this whole this, this quarter never really had those provisions and this side here we welded up all the holes and did a bunch of body work metal work there's a lot of metal work in this car and I can go into as much detail as you guys like this up here was really really bad where they grafted the donor quarter assembly i mean it's the inner wheelhouse it's the it's the trunk it's the door jam i mean it's the whole thing see that was from a white car you can see in there this was from a white car um it was a lot of work it was certainly a lot of work they did and they just didn't do it well i, I improved it i have lots of pictures of, of cutting that apart and fabricating a lot to make this quarter panel up here match you know this is the line here where the quarter has to match the convertible line because this convertible is different than a coupe that portion so that has to be saved uh, both both front fenders both front fenders were patched and everybody wanted me to leave the welds so I did tops of the doors here as we showed in the other video tops of the doors I patched original dash found another steering wheel original steering wheel remote mirror this is an air-conditioned power top car bottom of this door was patched these are all pieces of metal that I made these bottom these bottom patches obviously were store-bought This 
He's actually got some wet sanding, got some compounding, and got some polishing on this. The bottom here, I should have mentioned when I was here, this is this is all fabricated metal here. This whole piece is made to properly graft this to the rocker. We finished this car for my daughter's graduation this year in June, and she was able to drive it to high school graduation. She did. We put almost a thousand miles on it, eh, about 900 miles on it since we since we finished it. And I'm gonna show you guys underneath the hood. I mean, it, it looks it looks like we don't care about it. But I'm here to tell you. entire front clip was off right down to the frame rails uh, they were all they were all detailed and painted and the motors been painted and lots of clear coat on that on that engine it was originally a two barrel we converted it to a four barrel I rebuilt the quadrajet you know, did it right, got the reaming kit and replaced the bushings in the base plate and carburetors all detailed. That's an original air cleaner that I bought on eBay, I think. Sanded, primed, painted, clear coated that, of course, why wouldn't you? Original alternator, had that rebuilt. These are the original wheel wells. New master cylinder and booster. Now look, this is not a W34 speed. This is not a high dollar car. Does it say Delco Moraine on there? No, it doesn't. Those are not stainless steel brake lines. So I, let's be honest, I got, I got base parts. I did do silly things like the brake booster line I got with the original clip and you know, some things I tried to do to make it look a little over the top. You know, we put the right sticker on there and you know, it definitely, tranny cooler lines, you know, pre-bent ones. And if you looked underneath here, you know, this is pretty, pretty well detailed for being a driver for your 18 year old daughter, you know, An oversized sway bar on the front. And I did convert it to, we'll go around back and look. It has been converted to rear sway bar. So I bought the, the, the kit and plated the rear control arms. I'll show you that in a minute. We did not go to disc brake conversion. Probably should have. These are the Krager SS's off a 68 El Camino. We're gonna go around back here, I'll show you. Original back bumper. I tell people all the time, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can look underneath it. New gas tank, obviously new exhaust. You can see there. It's a corporate 10 bolt. I imagine the original O-rear got damaged when it was hit. It's 256 open. This car's got very long legs. Uh, pipes, mufflers. They're donated by a friend of mine, Mike. And we have the proper hangers. I got some flash rust going on there, huh? Um, let's see here, what else I can show you underneath. <laughs> I'm a detailed drive shaft. There's the mufflers. It's pretty under here. It's pretty, not bad for a not body off. You know, it's a low mileage car. Original sticker. Doors are not rotted. Some surface rust. I did have to patch something under, uh, on the bottom there on the front. I had to do some patches. This is always a great conversation piece. People see this trunk lid and think, man, what happened to this car? Some people think it was in a fire. Some people think it's not from this car. Well, you know what it's from? A tarp sitting on it outside for years, just collecting all the moisture. And that's what it does. But underneath, original paint, we replaced the stickers, 
new weather stripping. See if I can get in here a better look. You know, original trunk splatter paint I bought, trunk mat, spare tire cover. This is the quarter panel skin that I replaced. Again, this is not a show car. This was more fun than anything. My daughter and I, we had a blast building this car. A lot of, a lot of revamp in here that was hit and twisted. It might also have been bumped in the back. Obviously, when the bumper was off. I had to drill out all these spot welds here and pull this out because this tail light was laying in. So this got pulled out and then kind of straightened. Some of this metal in here is just to show you how it was not a rock box, this car. This is all original in here. So I definitely had something to work with. You know, people say you put a quarter on it and you put floors in it and it wasn't a rock box. Well, you know, the floors were just so thin from the convertible top being not there. It still doesn't have a convertible top. The frame is there. We still have to do the fabric. So it presents very well when you start digging into it a little bit. Even these Kragers came off that El Camino. They sat outside. They were nasty. Some steel wool and some chrome polish and some elbow grease and they go perfect with the with the vibe we got going on here. You know hinges are hinges are detailed. So fuel system from gas cap to carburetor new. Brake system from master cylinder to wheel cylinders, brake lines, shoes, drums, new. Cooling system, radiator, hoses, new. Charging system, battery, alternator. Everything that holds fluid is new. Fuel lines, I made this fuel line here because man, the, the reproduction fuel lines just don't line up. This is that NICOP stuff. And I got a couple kinks there, so that'll get redone. Obviously, I don't have the AC parts redone. We, we want to have the AC working. It's kind of cool to have an AC power top car. This car and my car were built both in Lansing, Michigan, and they were built roughly a week apart. We didn't know that until obviously we got it home. So that's a cool, that's a cool factoid. Both cars are, are running the period correct Oldsmobile plate, dealer plate. You're supposed to have two front plates, but what ifs. Plastic is all there. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures that Alyssa made, a poster board, of this car when we brought it home. You know how everybody came in the garage and they laughed. <laughs> they said, what the hell are you doing? I said, we're building a car. This was, this was, this was a pretty serious undertaking. Obviously, my daughter at the time, she was, what, 15? So she had obviously never had any part of that. You know, my son and I had done some work. He, he drives WRXs, and we had to do some strut tire work in one of them. And so he can cut metal, and he can weld. And, you know, we're, we're not shy here. We cut stuff apart. We work on stuff, dirt bikes, cars. You know, my son grew up racing BMX, so we, he's, he's got BMX bikes everywhere. Avid golfer these days, but... So I'm gonna show you that my daughter played a very pivotal role in this. Not just bagging parts and labeling parts, but keeping track of time. We do that, we keep a log on these cars, keeping track of photographs. She definitely got her hands dirty. And she deserves, she deserves high praises for that. She's away at college now, got her tassel hanging there. And uh, it was great. It was a great thing to do with her. And Mary, as we call it, the Hail Mary, she claims it'll never be sold. Never be sold. Very, very good friend of mine. And we can go into this later. Grew up with him. Built my motor. Built this motor. This is a this is a big board. It's original 350. Got the, the VIN number on it. We'll go into more detail about that. I think this is it. I think this is going to be the, the end of the season here for this car. Beautiful day, huh? This is going to go back in the trailer. I'll show you guys how it... Sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> Get a real 
a kick out while you're watching your daughter drive this to swim practice, drive it to work, take it out for ice cream. It was a lot of fun. I'm very, very glad we did this car. And this car was a lot of work, but it was worth it. And that's what that W31 in the garage is going to be. It's going to look like this, you know. We're going to just not, we're going to work around the paint body right now. We have to, you know, we're not rich people. We do what we got to do first and we play with these cars when we have time and money to do it. I've already shown you guys the undercarriage, the engine compartment, the control, fuel system, brake system, cooling system, exhaust system. Solid car. Got to get a couple of window regulators working, got to get the convertible top working. And then lastly will be the air conditioning. And very lastly will be the paint and body. If she ever decides to do that, that's on her. She's really enjoying it the way it is right now. I think everybody is. I'll show you guys a bunch of pictures of friends of ours that have helped with the thing.